A quick and easy way to combine multiple objects in Blender is with the use of geometry nodes, because if we have two shapes like this cube and the monkey head, and I did drop a subsurface level 3 on the monkey with smooth shading to keep it smooth, then we can go to geometry nodes from up top, hit new on one of the objects available. What we're going to do first is join the two shapes, so add a join geometry node, then bring the other shapes you have in the scene which you want to combine and plug them to the join node. And remember to make the object info on relative to make it interact with each other's. But that need an extra step, which is turning this mesh to volume and back to mesh. So we will use two nodes. One is mesh to volume. The other is volume to mesh. It's like taking the object, making them join organically in a volume phase, then turn the result to mesh again. By now, you should have some interaction between the shapes, but more on the geometry object side. So to affect the other, select them one by one. Go to the data, then viewport display. Check the bounds box and make the display on bounds. Now things are working the way we want, and the rest is just fixing the numbers on the volume nodes to make this look more like an object and less like a Tetris. And that's mainly with the voxel amount so spike it up, but be sure that it will go slow the more you add. Extra smoothness flavor is also needed, so add a set shade smooth node, then go to the modifiers on the geometry node object and drop on it a smooth corrective modifier. Check the only smooth option and spam the repeat value to your desire. Now thins with over 500 voxel value is probably hard to play around, so if you want to keep it light but render full resolution, you can add a switch node right after the volume to mesh node. This switch has a false and true values, so we can make a copy of the two nodes before it and make the new ones on a low voxel amount to keep it light while the top value is the one rendering at last. And you don't need to keep switching the node, just add an IS viewport to the switcher, and that will render the false and preview the true while working. A set material node is dropped at last, and with a material added on any object in the scene, you can assign it in the set material node to preview it on the geometry node objects. Adding any other object to this is easy, like this sphere. We can drop its info, make it on relative, and connect it to the Join Geometry node. Then make sure to adjust the sphere data for viewport display, as we did before. Now there's another way to do this, and we did make a video on it. So check it out. It's much lighter than this one, but more on the destructive process. Can help you out if you're running on Potato PC. And that's it. Remember to like, sub, and eat while you can still afford it. Say hi to Grandma. Stay sharp. Goodbye.